Hello and welcome to this course on Microsoft Excel for becoming a Microsoft Office Specialist Excel Associate Certification by Microsoft. Now I have created this series with all the questions that might be covered in this exam and today I am going to talk about topic number 1.2.2 which is navigate within the workbook to named cells, ranges and workbook elements. So that is what I will teach you today. So if I go to this sheet, I will tell you how to go ahead and name cells, how to name ranges and how to navigate between elements. All right. So, for example, over here, if you see, I have the total number of sales, correct, of certain items, quantity sold. Now, if I want to go directly over here, how do I do that, correct? I can go ahead and give it a name. How? I'll simply click on the cell and then I'll click over here and type in sales underscore count. All right. Now, if I need to go to this cell from wherever I am, I can simply go to this drop down, click on sales count and I'll go over here. Super easy, right? This is one very important question that comes. How do you go to a specific cell? You can also go to name manager in the formulas tab. And from here, you will be able to see all the cells and ranges to which you have given a name. Like for this one. There is another way of going to that cell, which is, an, which is also a very, very important question, is a shortcut for that. So, you have to press control G. And when you press Ctrl G, you will see all the named cells and ranges that you have given to a name to and click on them and OK and it will take you there. As in this cool. Now this can be used in formulas also and navigation. All right. Now you can also go ahead and give a complete range a name. For example, this is one range which I want to give a name to. All right. So this is sales amount. I selected this. Now let me show you another way of giving a name. So I go to formula tabs and click on define name. Now I can give it a name. So sales amount is the header over here. So that's the name it has taken. I'm okay. I can give a comment what it is and I can say, okay, this refers to this address. Okay, cool. Now this is another named range. And if I want to go or refer to this range, I can click over here and see it will take me to this range automatically selected. You can also use this in a formula. Let me show you how. So this is another question that usually comes in exam. How do you use named ranges? So I click on here is equal to sum. All right. And then I type in the name of my range. Okay. Which is sales. See. This comes up over here, sales amount. Close the bracket and I get the sum. Isn't this cool? Now, why am I getting 73900 over here? The total is 36950 because it is counting all the items that are here also and this also. So, if I delete this, then automatically it changes. So, this is how. Very easily you can give names to cells and names to ranges and then use them very, very easy. If you want to go ahead and delete a name range, then what you will do? You will go to name manager in formulas or you can press control F3. See, and now I want to go ahead and delete this. I can delete it from here. I want to edit it. Okay, this address is different. I can do that. Now you can also navigate between your workbook elements like your worksheets. How? You have n number of worksheets over here, for example. Then all you have to do is right click, right click in this area. See? And all the worksheets that are in your workbook will be shown and you can go to any worksheet from here. Say for example, I open n number of worksheets. And now I click over here. See? I can go to any worksheet from here. Isn't this cool? 
you can also press control page down to go to the sheet on your right see like this and control page up to go to the sheet on your left that is what i am doing if you see over here i am pressing control page down to go to the right and control page up to go to the left so this is how very easily you go ahead and navigate name cells ranges and workbook elements i hope you like this video do keep on watching this series so that you can pass your excel exam you can also buy this course from us do reach out to us using my website myelesson.org this file is also available for free over there for demo purposes well until the next video then this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning